Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going through my makeup favorites and I'm gonna show you um, my favorite makeup products and then I'm gonna show you my favorite low end of that product and my favorite high end of that product. This video is to help aspiring MUAs know what to buy to get them started. Um, so if you have any questions, um, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So I'm gonna start off with foundations. I have written all the prices down and where the products are from. So my go-to high-end product at the moment is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter uh, Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. However, I will say if you have got a very dry skin texture or um, your skin, sometimes like when you put makeup on it it can look very matte um this one might not be the best for you this is super full coverage you can buy this in boots for 27 pounds and then two of my favorite drugstore dupes are the makeup revolution foundation drops this is the makeup revolution pro foundation drops and the maybelline fit me foundation my ultimate go-to at the moment um are these revolution pro foundation drops i actually prefer these over so many high-end um, products that I have used. You can buy this foundation on Makeup Revolution's website and Superdrug for £7 and I'm pretty sure on Makeup Revolution's website it is currently in the sale half price so it's only £3.50. And then I also love the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like this isn't necessarily too full coverage but if you wanted to build it up to be full coverage you could also do that. This foundation is £7.99 from Look Fantastic. So next up we have concealer. And my ultimate favorite concealer is Shape Tape from Tarte. This can be quite a pain to grab um, in the UK just because of um, it comes from America. But if you buy like a couple things on the website, it can be a bit easier. Um, but I love Shape Tape from Tarte. This concealer is 24 pounds on Tarte's website. And then I also love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is only 5.99 from Look Fantastic and it is really full coverage um, and it feels quite light it doesn't feel cakey or anything um, but it's not like it's full coverage but it's not like the most full coverage if that makes sense but if you don't want to splash out on a concealer then you don't have to and then of course P. Louise base everybody needs a P. Louise base in the shade number two and you can use these as concealers if you want to um, I use mine to line my brows and put on my eyelid but I know some people like to use this as their concealer this is the um, like medium size I think and it was £18 but you can also buy a smaller one for £10 now moving on to cream contour first up one of my favourites is the Makeup Revolution Conceal Undefined Full Coverage Concealer I get mine in the shade 13.5 and it's £5 from Beauty Bay. And then at the moment, I've also been loving the Last Imperfection Concealer from Collection. Mine is in the shade 14 Medium Caramel. You can buy this in Boots for £4.19. Now, moving on to setting powders. Of course, everybody loves their Laura Mercier setting powder. However, I love this so much. But I feel like Shape Tape and Laura Mercier powder do not mix well. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I just, I don't know, it just, they don't like blend together very nicely and it's so frustrating because they're like two of my most favourite products um, and they just don't really work together and it's so annoying. I don't know if I need to change the amount I put on of either of the products, but I will definitely be experimenting with that because these are, this powder is insanely good. Um, I This is also very pricey. It's £32 from Look Fantastic. And I also love the Morphe setting powder, um, but this is just the Bacon Set translucent powder. And this is £12 off of Morphe's website. And then the cheapest option is actually the Makeup Revolution um, powder. This is the banana one. I bought this years ago and it should not be in my drawer anymore. But I wouldn't recommend getting the banana one if you have skin kind of like mine or lighter just because it is... It's, like yellow basically 
Um, but I have heard very, very, very good reviews on the, their actual translucent powder. So on Beauty Bay, you can actually buy this for six pounds. So it is a really, really good option for um, somebody who is maybe on a budget or just wants an affordable um, setting powder. So next up, I'm going to talk about brows. I Before I get started, I do love the NYX... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like te it's ten pounds, and it's like one side's like a spoolie, and one side is like a pomade pen kind of thing. It's really good, and I also love the Benefit um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. But I've run out of both of them. So my other two go-tos, I love this Tropic Brow Boss Defining Pomade. I will say the packaging is a little bit iffy, just because. It's just a cardboard box basically and the pomade constantly falls out um, but other than that it is only £8 and it does the job. And then of course it wouldn't be brows without Benefit so I love the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. Um, this is what it looks like, it just looks like a little eyebrow, it's kind of really cute as well. I do not use this brush though, I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I never use that. This is £20 on Feel Unique. Now, moving on to highlighters, I honestly, my all-time favourite highlighter has to be Ofra um, in the shade Glazed Donut. It's the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials collaboration and this highlighter has lasted me two years. It is the most pigmented highlighter I've ever used and it's like an investment because it lasts so long. Um, it is very pricey. On Beauty Bay it's £27 which I know is a lot of money for a highlighter but if you want it it's definitely worth it. And the cheaper option for you guys is this Spectrum um, Oyster Highlighter. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really cute and I also like that the, um, the mirror bends all the way back so you can just get the product without getting your mirror messy. But I have three blushes that I absolutely love. My favourite blusher is actually only £3.50 and it's from Makeup Revolution and it's just this little palette where you get uh, a highlighter and a um, bronzer. I never use the highlighter and the bronzer, but this blusher is actually gorgeous. I, I love the Beauty Crop Stargazing Blush Duo in Orion Glow. Um, this is such a lovely highlighter as well. You can buy this from the Beauty Crop's website for £18. And then I also love this Tarte one. I uh, We actually got this when we ordered um, some stuff from Tarte. It was just like a Tarte rewards thing. Um, and it's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Quirky. This is a good blush if you want it to be matte because it hasn't got any highlighter in, infused in it. And you can get this on the website for £25. Now, moving on to eyeshadow palettes, I've got a huge pile here of my favourites and they, I've, I love them all for different reasons. So I'm gonna show you different palettes for like different budgets. If you wanna be a creative anyway, if you just want a matte, um, like a palette with just brown eyeshadows in it, um, I've got you covered. So I'm gonna start off with my most affordable palettes. Um, and these are from Barrier. You can actually buy these exact palettes for $7.99 on ASOS at the moment. Um, and I'm pretty sure if you're a student, you can get a student discount on them too. Um, but they're these really cute um, eyeshadow palettes with really just natural colours in. If you want something that is just basic, like you don't want anything too crazy, then, and you're on a budget, then this is a really cute palette for you. And they actually blend really nicely as well. And then also by Barry M, they have a Neon Brights palette. Um, and this is what this one looks like. I haven't actually used this one yet. Um, but I have swatched it and it is quite pigmented for the price. And then next up I'm going to show you some palettes from Morphe. Now Morphe can vary in price drastically. Um, they go, I'm sure there's palettes on their website right now that start at £8 right up to about £30 I think. But you can buy yourself a small palette like this. And these are normally £18 but I know right now they have a little sale on so some of them are £12. This is my favourite palette right now, guys, um, and you can tell which shades are my favourites, but this is the Morphe Making Bank palette, and I actually love it at the moment. And also from Morphe, if you want to start your, like, makeup journey and start creating some really cool out there looks, um, then the Morphe Exchange Charles palette is for you. It is a fair price, it's £39. Um, 
but you get a lot of shades in here um but this is obviously what the palette looks like i'm sure you've seen before what this palette looks like um but i do like this for one reason more than a lot of others is that it comes with a shade that you could potentially use as a highlighter and some more up there and then some shades as you could um potentially use for bronzers and then staying on the same page as creative makeup i also love these two palettes this palette um the be perfect carnival extra large pro palette is insanely pigmented um obviously this is what it looks like again i'm sure you've seen what this palette looks like um because it's usually everywhere this palette again is quite pricey it's 42 pounds if you want to get creative with a palette that isn't too expensive then the nikki tutorials x beauty bay palette is so good this is on Beauty Bay for £25 and I just love the packaging to be honest but these shades, oh my god, are so pigmented. Like the shimmers, like all of them are so so pigmented and they blend so lovely as well. And then finally, any eyeshadow you get from Urban Decay, I love. Um, I currently have here the Urban Decay Born to Run palette which I've had for quite a while now. This was £34 um on debenham's website and these are the shades that you get you do get quite a lot um of shades in here and i love how the mirror art like bends back i love it when they do that because it makes life so much easier when you just like want to pop it down and moving on to mascara i'm going to show you two mascaras um first up i'm going to show you the nyx one as the more low end one this is the worth the hype mascara from nyx i used this before i put my false eyelashes on it just it dries really quick and it does actually do a much better job than a lot of low-end mascaras it is pretty good but we all know that my ultimate favorite mascara is too faced better than sex and as you can tell by my bottle i have used this a lot the nyx mascara is nine pounds from beauty bay and the too faced better than sex mascara is 22 pounds from look fantastic moving on to lip products i have a little selection for you here um so i'm going to start off with ofra again i just love ofra products some of them can be obviously pricey but some of them aren't too pricey um but they're long lasting liquid lipstick um oh my god so so good and once it dries and you put a gloss over the top it just looks so good my favorite one is in the shade charmed and i literally love this so much you can get this for 15 pounds 50 off of beauty bay and then i will also say that huda beauty the demi matte liquid lipstick um range is really good as well i actually have the this shade on right now in the shade it's called she e o like ceo but she e o this is on cult beauty at the moment for 18 pounds and then basically any lip product from nyx is so good um i love their glosses liquid lipsticks uh just lipsticks like i love nyx lip products and they usually start from about three to four pounds as well um so they won't like break the bank and you can buy a couple um but they do have some really lovely lip products now i'm gonna move on to beauty sponges and i have three here three of my favorites um so this is the um beauty blender like the original one the pink one and i do really like it and i know it is so expensive it's like 80 i think it's 18 pounds um but it's so good and i know this um real technique sponge is also good but it just there's something so good about this beauty blender that makes me want to buy more but then knowing that the real techniques ones are kind of just as good they just feel different they're totally different sponges but they're just as soft so i don't know the real techniques one i think is about six pounds um and i do really like it but there's just something special about the original beauty blender but then i also love this new sponge that i got for christmas this is from juno and co i think this is 5 pound 50 um and it's a microfiber sponge and oh my god it feels so strange but it doesn't soak any foundation up and sometimes i do rely on my beauty blender like soaking a little bit of makeup up so I, if i've put too much on but it does blend out um cream and powdered products really really nicely now let's talk about brushes so i religiously use spectrum collections brushes i honestly 
I just can't use anything else. They're ridiculously soft. Like I would, I did a family member's makeup. I don't know, like October. It's so long ago now because of all the new rules. Um, and she was like, "Oh my god, it feels like you're barely touching my face." Um, and the Spectrum Collections um, brushes are just the nicest brushes I've ever used. And then you can also grab yourself if you're on a budget. Then I would recommend the BH Cosmetics brush sets. They just like average if that makes sense like they don't blend out as nicely as like spectrum brushes but if you're on a budget then they kind of do the job as well so that is the end of the video i hope this has helped if you have any more questions don't be afraid to leave them in the comments i will answer or if you don't want to leave a comment then feel free to dm me on instagram or leave a comment on tiktok anything i will get back to you thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye